You know, Ken and I had worked for many years together before he started filming Gymkhana's and driving, and he was like a mentor and someone that I was very lucky to work alongside. And like, I shot skating mostly. He would always kind of push me to shoot other things and push me to shoot portraits of other things. You know, he just didn't want me to be comfortable all the time. When he started filming these Gymkhana projects, I'd kind of heard about it. I was like, what is he doing? It's like some rich guy shit, like driving his car around and like, filming it with a bunch of fancy cameras, you know? And he was like, come on, Blames. Like, just come up and check out Universal Studios. Like, it's gonna be fun. And I remember going up to Universal Studios and the first photo I ever shot of him at a Jim Connor, it was a gas station. It was right across from the Back to the Future clock tower. And he came in and he slid around and came like within inches of the gas pumps and did it first try. And I was like, fuck, like, this is insane. Like, this is a guy who used to, we used to fight about like how to lay out a skate ad. Like, this is insane that this guy knows how to do this shit. Like, this is incredible. You know, and it, it's dope for me because he always pushed me to do things that I wasn't comfortable doing. And I had no idea I could photograph cars. He gave me the opportunity to shoot automotive stuff. And I, I had, you know, again, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. You know, he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself and that's, that's just what Ken did, you know, he always was giving people opportunities to do stuff that, you know, they didn't even know themselves that they were capable of. And that's just like, you know, the kind of person that he was. He would just show you what you could do and like let you do it. We had such a great crew of people. It was always the same crew, whether it was like Dubai or China or Buffalo, New York or LA or SF. It was like the same dudes and it was like such a dope crew, you know, to shoot with. And Ken, you know, always saw something in someone and he had like assembled such a rad group of people.